So my mom recently called me asking, what's an ETF? She had apparently been pitched on investing in a diversified pool of ETFs by a financial advisor, but she didn't really know what that meant. And I don't blame her. She's not in finance. It sounds daunting, but it's really quite simple. So I figured I would break it down for her in easy to understand terms. So I've always had this feeling that the world of finance insulated itself from disruption by overcomplicating things, by making the concept seem inaccessible or challenging to understand for an ordinary individual. And in reality, they're really not. I had this feeling that I could demystify these concepts through simple stories, parables, and allegory. So an ETF or exchange traded fund is really quite simple. Think of it as a basket of goods. You can buy a share of that basket to have partial ownership of the contents of the basket. Those shares that you then own can be freely traded on an open exchange. So imagine for a moment that you live in the 1800s in a remote village. You and your friends would like to have access to the bustling market of the big city, but you don't. You can't go into the city and trade in all the exotic goods that they have in that market. You'd like to, but you don't have the time, money, or resources to do it. So along comes a fellow from the village who has a solution for you. He goes into the big city and buys a large basket of all of the exotic goods you could possibly want. He then comes back to your village and offers you a share of that basket that he's purchased. You give him some money to buy that share, as well as a small fee for his troubles. And now you have a share of that basket of exotic goods. The best part is you can trade that share. You can buy more of them if you think that the prices of those goods will go up. You can sell them if you think the prices of those goods will go down. So you and all of your friends in the village now have access to that market and to all of its exotic goods without actually having to have gone and bought each individual one. It's really quite simple when you put it in those kind of terms. So an ETF in the modern day can really cover anything. It covers different asset classes, different sectors, commodities, uh, different types of stocks, different geographies. You have ETFs for large indexes like the S&P 500, which is one of the most popular ETFs. Uh, you can also have e ETFs for very, uh, very complex sectors. Uh, there are ETFs for the esports industry, for example, which is a very popular one today, given everything going on in the economy. But really, an ETF can cover anything. Today, actually, from what I understand, there are about 7,000 traded ETFs uh, and only 3,000 traded stocks on U.S. listed exchanges. They don't have the same overhead or management expenses as a mutual fund, which is actively managed, and thus have a lower expense ratio, which means a higher net return profile if, if on the same index. Number two, they tend to be liquid. As discussed, they're freely traded on the open exchange. So if you find an ETF that has a high volume of shares being traded on a daily basis, it's very easy to trade in and out, and investors love liquidity. And finally, number three, there are really no minimums for ETFs. Many mutual funds require you to invest $5,000 or $10,000, which is quite a barrier for a lot of new investors looking to get into investing for the first time. ETFs don't have minimums. You can buy a single share of an ETF and often fractional shares with some of the new options that exist in today's market, which makes them a great option for many new investors with a smaller capital base. So in summary, an ETF can be a great option for building a low cost, tax efficient, diversified long term portfolio for most investors. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.